So pour five fire in the next one. Just isolate. Isolate. Go, go, go! go. Man here! Yeah. Get the corner! Go! 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 One tree. Bravo. One. Line five. Alpha. One. Al copy. Over. Buddy, buddy. You're gonna be okay. We'll get you out of here. I mean, we're not going to leave a man behind. It's going to be a challenge going from A to B like this, especially in this Indo-Pacific region. We do have to consider and put ourselves to the challenge to understand what we're going to have to need for this type of mission. Essentially, it's like prolonged field care in a movie in ICU in the back of an Osprey. With limited resources, you got to think of the oxygen that you're going to have to give, uh, how many meds that you have and dosages that you have to figure out if you bring enough on your flight. And you have limited space. It's hot and uh, it's, very, it's just costing on your, on your body and also the patient too. So usually we try to go from A to B very quickly. This one we're just kind of showcasing what we can do in a longer range. So it was a great opportunity for that. We typically try to keep them under 10,000 feet for blood flow considerations and things like that. Um, with that being said, that means burning more fuel, so using more of our lifeline in the sky and typically uh, slower airspeed as well. So the higher we can get, the faster we go and the better fuel burn, but with a casualty on board, that's sometimes not the case. An additional consideration that we have to think of is the impact that it has on the crew. The requirement to tank can be pretty taxing on the pilots just because you're up close to a, a C-130 which can be really stressful on the body. So if you're doing that multiple times over a span of 12 hours, it's just very taxing. We do these types of missions in order to be ready for the real deal. And of course, we never actually want to execute something like this, but we're always prepared. And that's kind of what we do, both as a squadron, VMM 268, and then as the Marine Corps as a whole, is we're just always ready.